Hey, what's going on gang? Welcome to your 12th JavaScript in the DOM tutorial. And in this video, I'm going to show you how we can create elements and then place them into the DOM. All right then, so in the last tutorial, I showed you how we could hook up the submit event listener to this form so that when we click submit, it prevents the default action and the page does not reload and it logs the value of this input field to the console. So really what we want to do is grab this value and then use it so we can add a new element here and add the book to the list. So we're going to insert a new li tag if you like. Now to do that we're going to need to create a HTML element on the fly in JavaScript and then insert it into the DOM. So I'm going to show you how to do that in this tutorial. So if we go back to the code we can see so far we already grabbed a reference to the book. We attach the event listener to it so that on submit it prevents the default action and we grab the value of that input field. And we're going to use this in a second. So the first thing we need to do is start to create some new elements so that we can input them to the DOM. So let's take a look at what elements we need to create exactly. If we inspect one of these, we can see that each one is an li tag. Inside that we have a span with a class of name for the title and a span with a class of delete for the delete button. So we need to create three elements right here, the li and then two span tags. So let's create some of those elements over here. I'll get rid of the console.log first of all. We don't need that anymore. And then underneath, I'm going to do a little comment saying create elements. And then the first thing I want to do is create the li tag. So I'll say const li is going to be equal to document. And the way we create an element is by using the create element method. So create element. And then this is going to be an li. So we're passing whatever element we want to create into a string inside this function. So this has created that element, but at the minute it's not done anything with it. It's just floating around in space if you like. So later on what we're going to do is input this li tag into the DOM. But for now let's just create the other elements as well. So we need two span tags, one for the book name and one for the delete button. So again I'll create a constant. I'm going to call this one book name I'm going to set that equal to document dot create elements. And then this is going to be a span. Okay, so we've got one span tag now. We also need another span tag for the delete button. So I'll say const delete btn is equal to document dot create element. And we're going to create another span. All right, cool. So now we've created all three elements that we need. So the next step is to combine these elements into the structure we want and then insert them into the DOM. Now first thing we need to notice is that the span tags are nested within the li tags. So we need to first of all append these to this element and then we're going to append the li element to the ul. So we can do that down here. I'm going to say comment append to DOM and then underneath I'm going to say li oops li which is this element we created right here the li tag then dot append child so this is how we add something into the DOM we use append child so we're saying here we want to grab this li and then append a child to it and the child we want to append is going to be the book name which is this span tag right here Okay, so now we've nested the span tag for the book name inside the li. I want to do the same thing with this delete button. So I'll say li.append child, and then this is going to be the delete button. And order does matter here. If this one was to come before this one, then what would happen is the delete button would appear first in the DOM and then the book name. Now that's not the case over here. The name comes first then the delete button because what this thing does right here a pen child is add this element right here to the end of this tag right so it puts it at the end not the start okay so now we've added those two elements to the li the next thing we want to do is append the li to the dom so we have access to the list over here which is the ul we grabbed that in an earlier tutorial so i can just use this list variable and down here I'll say list dot append child and then we're going to append the li 
to the list. Okay, so we've created the three elements. We've appended the span tags to the li element we created. Then we've appended the li to the list. All right, so it's going to appear at the bottom of the list when we add it. Now, this is fine, but it won't work exactly as we want it to just yet. And I'll demonstrate that. Let's just add any old junk in here. Click add and we get the li tag, but nothing actually appears in it. And that's because we've created these elements. If we inspect it, we've created these elements and we've appended them to the DOM. However, we've not added any text content inside of them. So that's what we need to do now. And we already know how to do that. So let's do another comment here saying add content. And then we need to add text content to the book name and also to the delete button. So the book name has this text content and the delete button just says delete. So first of all, we'll say delete btn dot text content is going to equal to delete. That's fine. Now the text content of the book name is going to be this value that we grabbed from the input field that the user enters. So we'll say book name dot text content is going to be equal to value, which is this thing up here that we grabbed. So now we've entered the text content of those dudes and then we're appending them to the DOM. So let's give this another whirl. I'll just enter any old junk over here, click add, and now we get it right there. But still the delete button is not showing. So let's have a look what's going on. If we right click, we can see the delete button is there. Ah, it's part of the string. So this is happening because we've not got the class right here of delete and we don't have the class of name right here on the span tag. So these are not being styled correctly yet. So that's going to lead us on to the next tutorial where I'm going to show you how we can add classes and whatnot to these different elements.